Well, I want to move the new neighbors into the wormery. There's a few guys in there now already. Welcome home, guys. I want to cover them up with a little dirt just to make them feel at home. There you go. Hey, it's good to see you once again here at Faraday Studios. Oh boy, today, this is gonna be cool. I know I'm gonna get in trouble because we're going to open a can of worms. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, these are some ugly looking suckers down here. How many times in your life can you say you've actually seen a can of worms? One of the interesting thing about worms, oh, you're kinda, you dead? Got a dead worm. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen. Have a dead worm, what do you say? Alas, poor worm, I knew him well. There he goes. Yeah, he. I just woke him up. I thought he was dead. Nope, he's not dead. He's a little upset. Look at him, he's digging down. He said, enough of you, old man. Wake up, boys. It's time to come out and play. They don't like the light. Look at this. Yep, there's one. Oh, wake up, wake up, wake up. Now, I want you to imagine what kind of cage or home would you build for worms? We're going to build a wormery. W-O-R-M-E-R-E. Wormery. I think that's a real word. Mr. Wizard used that word back in 1951, the first time I saw a wormery. So I wanna show you how to build a wormery, and then we're gonna make some observations on the life cycle of common worms. Right outside your house, I imagine you're, you don't live too far from a worm. You might wanna do this. You might wanna scoop up some worms out of your yard and observe them for a while, and then let them go back into their natural habitat. That's what I'm gonna do with these guys. I'm gonna set them free. Freedom will soon be yours, boys. Yes, sir. Oh, you got excited about that, didn't you? I'm sure one of the first thoughts went through your head. I don't care about worms. Of what value are they other than they're gross? The fun to throw at your girlfriend, I guess. They do feed the birds. You can use them for fish bait. I guess that's why you guys were, I saved you guys from being fish bait. Do I get a little nod of approval? So what you're gonna need to build a wormery, I went to the hardware store and I got, uh, this is plexiglass. I think I prefer glass, it's easier. This gets a little static charge on it. You can use plexiglass so it doesn't break, it's cool. And then you just need some wood. Uh, this is called parting stop. It's just like three quarter by three quarter a piece of lumber. I got some of that. And let me go get my constructed wormery. I'll go get it. I'm gonna let you guys go in, the, in, in your new house here in just a second. Hey fellas, guys and gals. I would like to introduce you to your new home. Check it out, we're looking at it. It's a high rise worm condo. Now what, it, this is a wormery. It doesn't look, it looks like a little fish aquarium, but a skinny one. Looks like an old ant farm maybe. I've got it covered with cardboard to keep it dark inside. Made a couple little legs, sport legs, and I glued that on so the thing doesn't tip over. You'll see in a minute, I filled it with potting soil. So I'm gonna remove the cardboard and you'll hear them scream, light! They're like vampires, ah, no, no, no. Oh, I can hear them cussing me now. Turn off the lights, man. What's up? But you see, I've got the two pieces of plastic sheeting and uh, the wood frame on three sides. I left this open. Normally, I'd lay a piece of cloth or something up across the top so that air can get in and out. But the worms will get out. They'll crawl out. So, But you can see, I just filled this with potting soil. If you want to, you can get different brands of potting soil and maybe put a layer of lighter soil and darker so, so you can see the different layers if you want to. And about up here, this la layer, I've got a bunch of uh, garbage. These poor worms are fed garbage. You know, if I have any leftover, like a little piece of apple or something like that, but you just wait, those worms go, mm -mm. somebody's got an apple and they'll come up and find that thing. Fill your wormery with dirt, not all the way to the top because you don't want them falling out as they look. One of the things you have to do is keep the soil moist two or three ounces of water every other day i'll just sprinkle just like just think about it the worms are in the soil and it rains on them right they don't particularly like the rain they'll try to avoid it but they do have to keep themselves moist because they breathe through their skin they have a mucus layer on their outside and it's very tasty too it's kind of tastes like butterscotch and lemon if you ever suck on a worm you'll notice what i'm talking about i spent a couple of bucks at the hardware store and i just bought this little rapid test soil moisture tester. So I'm just gonna stick that in and see what it registers. Don't turn around. Ah, did you hear I just stabbed a worm? No, I did not. So I stick this in there and it says, hey, you're getting dry, Jake. So I wanna pour a little, little water in there. It doesn't take much. And that'll work its way down. Well, now you just sit here and look at this thing for a while and look at the soil. They're making tunnels in the soil. Now, what use is that to anybody? I just think about that. All vegetation goes, thank you. You're making all these passageways for water to, to migrate through the lawn 
not only for water, but they also find, provide a passageway for gas transactions and trees, plants. It's nice that somebody broke up the soil for me. So yeah, they are a very useful part of our ecosystem, the worms. Well, I wanna move the new neighbors into the wormery. There's a few guys in there now already. Welcome home, guys. Yep, don't leave me hanging out here. I think I wanna make my visitors feel a little more comfortable. I dumped a pile of them in there and they're kind of unwinding into, well, I'm gonna cover them up with a little dirt just to make them feel at home. There you go. Oh, that feels better. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can hear them. So I think what we might try to do is we're gonna turn off the lights and get out some red lights, see if we can see them moving. Hey, check this out. Everything's red now. I have a red light source. If you've ever seen a, what a war movie, say, let's go red. Well, the worms are very particular. They don't particularly care for white light and they avoid it. When you first pull off the cardboard in a sunlit room, those worms are laying there and all of a sudden they jerk. They, oh. And I'm gonna take off the cover here right now. Let's lay it down. And yeah, didn't hear much noise. I didn't hear them screaming or yelling. Oh, you can see the pathways, can't you? The worm highways, and they've been digging, man. And one thing I suppose is point of epiphany for a young person is they look at the worms, they get over the yuck factor, and they look how industrious they are. These little worms are important. They're part of a life cycle. So much for that. We're gonna do a little experiment here. I'm gonna try it. I've got the, the flashlight on my cell phone. I've got the red lights on in the studio. And so I'm gonna take the cardboard off the back side and shine a really bright light back here and see if that'll make the worms go to the other side. I don't know, never done it, but we're gonna do it right now. Take off the cardboard. Ah, ah, shine on the bright lights. Well, that guy's moving over here. There's one guy going, hey, hey. When this bright light comes by, they turn away. But just a little bit of bright light and they'll react to it. It's amazing how he has no eyes like, like we have, but he's sensitive to white light. I think that's why they call them night crawlers. And you say, where do they crawl? Well, everybody knows, in your stomach and out your mouth. <laughs> well, once again, I'm sorry to see you go. It's always, it's always great to have visitors here at Midnight Science Club. It's great, I'm glad you're part of our family. You're always welcome here at Midnight Science Club. We study things from stink bombs to worms. You have to be a patient observer. That's the skill we sharpen today, is observing the humble worms. And if you want to do some more activities like this, make sure you join us on all sorts of social media. I saw the strangest thing today. I saw some old man talking to worms. Hey, where else are you going to see this? These worms are my buddies. <laughs>